Hey everyone, welcome back to Chill Gaming. Um, let's play Desynced Part 4. Um, in this um, episode, uh, hopefully, we're going to move forward with uh, more of the mall and, um, you know, building in general, progressing really. Um, yeah, so I'll unpause it now and we'll, uh, we'll carry on. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like if you're enjoying the video or, you know, do use the comments um, if there are other games you want me to play in uh, on, on, the, on this on chill game and on this um, channel uh, it's predominantly factory building kind of games I'm gonna do um, I will probably create uh, others for um, different game genres um, but the, the plan will be is to do a desync of a few of these um, the Tectonica series is on pause until they sort the updates out um, and then I'll go back to that but I've got some exciting stuff to do in the future um, Dyson Sphere that I launched an update in a month or so um, which will be interesting it's very much like this game um, except you've got a mech you walk around with and build stuff with uh, you've got Satisfactory what else is there oh, there's a few others uh, No Man's Sky um, you know there's there's a whole load of games out there that um, even things like Terra Tech which isn't necessarily necessarily a, a building game, although it is. You have a you build a robot vehicle out of blocks, and um, you eventually build conveyors and stuff to make all the things. But um, we'll see how it goes. And Star Made's another one. There's a whole load, but I can't do everything at once. But um, yeah, get back to this game. Uh, we'll now pause it and see where we go with this. Okay, so as you can see, I've. Um, Last time I was cleaning up and doing some stuff. Press P, and you can see I've finished the the poles to get power to these two areas. I've built another miner uh, for the chunks, crystal chunks, and I've moved one of the miners from here down here to this place, and it's now unloading into uh, that storage. So hopefully we've got enough at the moment. Um, when these um, miners here have finished. Um, I'll probably put another platform that expands over here so they can totally clear this area up. But we want to start expanding north as well as building more of these for, um, you know, to continue on our uh, expansion. So what I'm going to do is see how many of these have got these little solar cells in. Uh, that one's got one, and these are now have two in. So our production skills should be going up with what we're generating. So is that the one in? And that's got one in, so that should be now producing another two, which it is. And then we've got space down here and here to put two on. Which is what we'll do. So it should one on there. I also built another dashbot to be a gopher, which now I've got surplus as you can see there's two sitting here doing nothing because all the storages are full etc. So what I'm going to do now in a moment is um, I'll stick another one of these solar panels down here. And what I'm going to do is put another storage down below these and empty this lot into them. That will then start the production up again so we can have a surplus. So we'll be doing that anyway at some point. So I'm still on there. Oh, press C and V. Stick one there. And once it's built, you literally tell this. I think it's right click. Or is it control right click? Yeah, control and right click. That you want to empty that into the bottom one. And while that's all going on, we're going to look in here to see um, what other things we can produce. Now, what I've got to build, because this has got the robotics factory on at the moment, so um, we'll take that off, stick that one back on. We'll look on these to see what we can build. Right, the behavior controller we'll need at some point. beacons I haven't really used so I don't know what exactly they do other than put a mark on the map maybe I don't know so what we need to do is create a factory that will make these 
uh, capacitor, not necessarily important. The uh, portable radar. I don't know about the power field. Signal reader we'll need. So if we get something up that makes those and lights. This lets us um, choose the lights we want to have. So um, I'll have to see how that works. But um, yeah, what we'll do is we'll get these two factories up first while we're waiting. So we'll grab another one of these. We'll have all these together, I think. So stick another one there. That's got to be collected. So, um, is that with a miner or with one of these? Will they do it? No, so it's got to have a miner on it. That's the other thing I've got to actually do is make a, a factory that makes those mining lasers. So stick one of those there and one of those there. Tell that to make behavior controllers. Right, which that is now doing, which is grand. And then if you click into is it library? Yeah, you have down here um, behaviors. Now I've got a whole load in here from when I played before because it just remembers everything. But you can create, um, I don't know, let's say a miner. So you say edit, and it gives you all of these here. I mean, I'll do a separate let's play on this. I'm just going to briefly go over it. But you basically drag and drop. And it'll say program start, and then you tell it what you want to do. Uh, you've got filters up here that you can add to. So you set these in as um, objectives for it, and then what you're looking for, etc., like on this. And then the result, if it finds something, it does something else. And it's like a loop. It's very basic programming stuff. I mean, I'm no expert, but um, yeah, it's an interesting thing that they put on here. And uh, you get blueprints as well. So you can pick these, and as you get the research, I mean, I don't know how many of my blueprints here, so have a look. Here you go. So I've got lots of different blueprints. Um, that come up. So um, eventually we'll do um, a whole load of things but I need signal readers and all sorts but uh, I'm trying to keep this bare minimum at the minute so you get the hang of what you meant to do. But getting back to this as you can see the storages have now emptied and the, the other ones are starting to fill up again which is brilliant. We need to make more um, up here, not necessarily there but this one maybe as the storage is increased. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to carry on doing this now and uh, I'm going to probably put a couple up the top here actually. I'll just use the default ones. So you go out one, two, but you've got a layer at the top, an extra one at the bottom for the storage. So you really need, you, you, you get one, two, three is what you need to go out. One, two, three. Because the third one will be storage eventually. And that one's going to be the radar. And when you stick these behavior controllers onto a building or other thing, you can program it to shut off and do certain things. Right, just waiting for that to build. That's a wireless. There it goes. And we stick one of these up there, not those, one of the solar panels and a assembler. And then when that arrives, we'll tell it what we want it to build. Right, so we want that to build signal readers. No, is it signal readers? No, portal radar. We need both actually. Um, I'll do the signal readers first. Well, that carries on producing. We will then progress on to the next stage. So what I need to also do is start to expand up this way to the plateau, which is over this side. So we want to go northwest. So if I now get a little base, 
and do the trick we did. But I want to actually go in the middle here because um, we want to expand all the way out. Let's see if they will go to that. Because failing that, what I'll do. Are they only standing still, not doing anything? Now we're pretty much using all of those, so I'm going to build another bot. And just have it as an extended. I might do it just an ordinary worker, but that's got a um, small. And what do they need? That's small, right? Yeah, we'll just do a standard little worker bot. Um, because I want something that, that will just have a power pole on it. So I can move it around. And in between, it'll be a gopher, but it's there just to help out. And hopefully, they won't take long to make. These are much slower than the ordinary bots. So as soon as that's built, here you go, it's done. So right, um, I will now tell that to go down, come here, go down here, I shove one of these on it. How do you do the shortcuts? The control one? Yes. So we'll call that worker power pole. So I press 1 every time I want that, and then the other one that we wanted was this one. Control 2. And then call that Dashbot Demolition. Dash Gopher. I don't know if that's how you spell it, but anyway, never mind. <laughs> right, so press 1 and get this one to come up to here. Come on. See how much slower they are. But it doesn't bother me that amount because the whole point is this is just going to expand the range of everything and get these building it. So we're producing a healthy amount now. We'll carry on doing that until we get to a decent, sufficient amount. How far is that off from being built? So it needs one circuit board, which is where is it coming up from? Has that got it? No. Are there any made? No, right, that explains it. So that will come up in a moment. And then we're going to build another one. Once that's built and the pole's on there. Further up. There you go, it's built. So we we'll stick that on there. And. Oh, wrong one. One of those on that. And then we tell it to build another further up so we want to go that way so if we stick one here maybe about there somewhere drag our little fella wherever he is cross to it there you go and let them build that one so that's what I'm going to carry on doing I'm going to carry on building those poles and then um, to save you going through the pain of watching it, I, uh, by the magic of videos, it'll be done uh, next time we come back. So, um, yeah, I'll just stop building those now. Hey, right, okay, we've now um, built up to this plateau, as you can see, with the infinite ore there, these satellite bits of ore around it. So, then the next stage will be is to put storage down. So you want the storage that's not too far, so I'll stick one next to this here. I'll just stick one there for now. And then we've got to build a few more mining bots. Get rid of that. Because you'll see now we've got a shortfall on the circuit production. Because I've added a few more factories. So we're now producing small batteries and small capacitors. So does the lights. This factory here is basically for me to produce one-offs. So if I want a oh no, signpost, not that I will, but if I did, then I'll make it in there. Um, that's the plan with that one, that's just a generic thing. And what I've done is I told this to make foundation plates. So if I say to this one, make another 50. So yeah, now that'll all go in there. And as you can see, I've now got the power radius off. You can see I've made these um, metal plates on the floor 
so it's starting to take shape. Um, what I'm going to do now is... Why is that dashboard doing nothing? Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now... Oh, I've also actually, I've built uh, two extra factories, because these are running out. But uh, the problem I've got now is these storages are running out for the ore. Which we're going to need soon another one for the chunks, another one or two down here to fill this up, and definitely a couple up there. Um, but the thing I might start doing, if I can build a double base around... I can't do it here because the infinite vein's not exposed, but this I can. So if I stick this on here, what I should be able to do is stick two miners on there. Now it hasn't got much storage, but the plan would be is to right click it to this, that'll then come down, unload it and stick it in there. So if we now say two um, miners, wherever they are, about tell it to put two of those on here. Tell it to store there. And then if you click that, hold on, can you right click the base onto that? Yep, they're both firing, so yeah. So that's excellent. That will it's having like two of these, isn't it? So um, I'm going to right click that. It's now unloaded. I'm going to get rid of its home base. Where is it now? Is that the one? Come here wherever you are. Right. C. V. Right, now I tell these to mine. You up there and mind that, and we'll try and work our way to clear a square here so we can do the same trick. So we need to work on teleporters, so um, that's going to be nanobots, because that gives us the basic portable transporter. So I'm going to set research on that, but it's going to be pretty slow because our circuit production is very limited, because everything needs it. So I've geared up these to make more, but we're still not producing enough. We're not getting enough ore, that's the problem. That then supplies those buildings. But we've actually got somewhere, so um, yeah, I've um, everything's starting to take shape. You can get an idea of how this will work. And the difference is when we start to do um, add more of the same type of buildings, so i.e. like the circuits, what you generally do is you'll have two storages, a, um, I can't remember the name of the, th the factory here, I don't think we can produce it yet to be honest with you, it's further up in the research tree, um, there it is there, so that building there which is the medium building, it gives you two M's and two internals, but that's got eight storage, I think, with it. And what that will enable us to do is you'll have, you may be asking the question, why so many storages? Well, one storage is for all of the input materials. One storage is for the, uh, next to it is for the output uh, material, so the end product. And this one here just ferries the flow. So all of the uh, products the factories need come into this building and go straight out to the factories via the teleporter. And then as they produce all of the end product, they come into this factory while the teleport and straight out to the output storage. So you're optimising it. And what you do is this is a big 2x2 um, two two building. So it's so down here, so it'll be one, two, one, two, so like four of these. You'll have the storages underneath it. And then these factories you rotate around and store all around it and optimise exactly what you're building. Um, and that will be the plan. I'll start that process, but we can't do that until we get further through. Uh, the research, and as I say, that's uh, this one here. So we we, we will need for this. Um, we've got those We're really slowly producing these, but we'll be doing these soon because I've got the silicon. So um, that will be in the next episode. But yeah, as I say, um, we got pretty far on this. We've managed to uh, expand them all, build a load more products, expand our power grid right out, do our first mining factory. Yeah, and you can see how the difference it's making. That was empty just a few minutes ago. Um, 
and we'll be building more miners. We've expanded up to the silicon, and we've now got an infinite silicon vein. We've produced our first storage for it. So in the next episode, we will work on getting um, some more miners, starting production here, or even building a factory here, and get some gophers that just keep ferrying from one to the other, one to the other. And uh, what you can do is you can tell it to only collect from this and deliver to that. It's not connected to the network, so it won't do anything else other than move items backwards and forwards. And it would probably be a hell of a lot cheaper to um, have a factory than it would be to build loads of mining uh, droids. Right, we've now got the teleporter. And we'll do this in the next episode. It says, we can utilize our advanced nanomachine technology to initiate self-repair protocols. These nanomachines will work in unison, efficiently repairing systems and structural integrity. At its current level, it will not be enough to repair the advanced mothership systems. However, it is a good first step. And this technology will be useful to our units on the planet's surface in the meantime. So right, yeah, so that's what we're going to do next time. Um, I'm just going to quickly check to see what's involved in building those. So right, we've got a, instantly got an issue because we need the, um, the coil. So this coil here, which is produced with silicon powder, which is what you mine from silicon, and plates, which we're producing. Now in theory, I don't want to produce that yet. No, we can't. So then you've got to look at the research, and it's gateway technology that gives us that. Hang on, no, it isn't gateway, is it that one? Right, it's the one we want, the robotics production. These are made from silicon powder, so yes, on the next episode, we are going to work towards getting the silicon powder um, to produce this silicon and do this research so we can get both two birds of one stone and we also get uh, cubs not very good it's very slow but it's got a medium slot on it the twin bot is excellent uh, that'll be something that I really want to produce because it's, it's it's a very good uh, robot to have um, but yeah so I'm gonna set that even though we can't actually do anything with it yet but yeah so that will be in the next episode uh, as I say like and subscribe if you're enjoying this uh, do comment and I look forward to seeing you in the next one take care guys